Well, good news. Today we're going to be doing the last of our four macromolecules. And today's macromolecule will be nucleic acids. So, just as a reminder on what you take notes on when you're doing these macromolecule notes, I want to make sure that you're familiar with it, what kind of information we are taking about each and every macromolecule. Remember, there are four major categories of macromolecules that we're studying. Carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and then today, nucleic acids. The first one is what they look like, or their structure. So, for instance, some macromolecules have long chains, others have rings. Some have both, depending on which one of the, macro which one of the categories they belong to. So, being familiar with that structure, how it goes along with their function, is very important. Second one, function, which relates, of course, to structure. Uh, in the case of function, all of our macromolecules have multiple functions, depending on which category they belong to. So, for instance, with lipids, cholesterol is a precursor to steroidal hormones, whereas triglycerides are uh, energy storage that we have in our body. They're both lipids, but the different categories, triglyceride or cholesterol, have different functions. So making sure you're aware of the different functions for the different categories of the macromolecules. The next one is atoms. Okay, so when we talked about carbohydrates and lipids, they're both made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So those would be the three atoms, or the types of atoms, that make up those macromolecules. And so you're going to be doing the same type of thing when we do, uh, today with nucleic acids. We'll take down which atoms make them up. Finally, they're monomers that make them up. Remember, all these macromolecules we're talking about are polymers. In other words, they're a repeating tra uh, train of um, a repeating unit that goes over and over and over again. So, for instance, in the case of carbohydrates, the monomer for a carbohydrate is what we call a monosaccharide. And glucose and fructose are our examples of those. Uh, and lipids, remember, were a little tricky. But we can say that they do have, some of them have a fatty acid chain that is repeating. Basically, the big thing with lipids that's repeating, however, is a CH2. We'll talk about that a little bit later, just to make sure we're all clear on that. But we'll get to that with nucleic acids. So these are going to be the categories with our nucleic acids that we make sure we know about. So, in order to get us ready, let's do this. Okay, so nucleic acids. Nucleic acids have what kind of structure? Well, the structure is that they have a chain. And that chain could either be a single chain. Or it can be a double chain, depending on which category we're talking about. Now, you guys have all heard of DNA which is one of our two nucleic acids that we work with. So there's two nucleic acids, one is DNA, one is RNA. DNA is our double chain here, double chain, and it stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. And the other one is RNA. RNA is a single chain and it stands for ribonucleic acid. So that is how we can differentiate between DNA and RNA. DNA will be a double strand and RNA will be a single strand. So that's our, our nucleic acids, the two categories we have. Well, now let's move on to function. The function of DNA and RNA is, one, to hold our genetic material, and all living things genetic material, and in so, they, the DNA provides a blueprint for making proteins.
So in this case, they are involved in having that genetic material and keeping it the same from generation to generation within a species. And then obviously there's small changes that are made um, and we'll get into all of that later. But then also this is a blueprint and how our proteins are made. Okay, and that's really this making of proteins is really key to what DNA and RNA do. So that's the function of nucleic acids. Okay, well let's move on to what atoms they're made of. The atoms that make up DNA are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, okay, and then we have nitrogen and phosphorus. These this combination, okay, so C-H-O-N-P, those are the atoms or elements that make up the DNA molecule. So the last category we're going to look at here is what is the monomer that makes up the polymer of DNA or RNA? The monomer. And our monomer for DNA is nucleotides. Nucleotides. Now, when we get into the genetics unit, we'll go into much more detail about the structure of nucleotides and really break them down, learn a lot more about how they hold together and how they are the puzzle pieces. But for today, just knowing that a long series of nucleotides is what makes up the monomer or monomer is the is a nucleotide, and the long chain is makes up the polymer, what we call DNA or RNA. So that's it for our nucleic acids, and we'll review all of this very soon.